Hello everyone my name is Amit Singh and welcome to the Cisco collaboration group and I would like to thank all the people who have uh, joined this group and it's a good news that we are close to almost 50 members in the group in such a short time and uh, please keep subscribing or uh, sharing this group to all the other colleagues who might need some help you know in their day-to-day -day operations or maybe if they want to upskill themselves or keep themselves up to date with the Cisco collaboration uh, portfolio updates you know I will be sharing some more information some more interesting things in this group so as to keep this interactive but I would also appreciate if you guys can you know not only like my videos but also put some comments and suggestions that would be a real great thing for all of us you know so today's collaboration term of the week is axl api so what is axl api so let's just first understand the uh, full form of axl api so it's administrative xml so i hope you already know the extension of xml it's extensible markup language and api of course it's application programming interface so it is one of the provisioning interfaces that is provided by the cisco unified communications manager so that you know the devices or the objects inside the cisco unified communications manager can be uh, you know provisioned uh, using a third party application so there would be a third party application and then there would be this axl api interface basically it's a soap based application uh, uh, sorry soap based axl interface that uh, that is being used so that the objects inside the cisco unified manager communications manager can be created so let's see in a simple manner uh, how does this provisioning a uh, task looks like you know what are the things that you need so basically you will need as you see a third-party provisioning application so it's a software it's a front-end you know HTTPS based uh, um, interface not the interface but an application that you could uh, develop in any language that you want you know and in the back end this application should be able to communicate uh, via the XML you know it should be able to send the XML requests and it should be able to interpret the response that is being uh, provided back by the Cisco unified communications manager and it should be able to interpret one of the files i will talk about this file in my next video it's uh, in it's, it's a, it would be a long video but uh, i'll tell you what that video will be about but uh, that, that there would be one of the schema files it should be able to interpret that schema file as well you know so this application should be able to interpret that schema file and it should be able to communicate using the XML interface in the back end and the front end of course it's a, it's an HTML based or, or whatever um, uh, interface that you want so there would be a front end interface and the back end interface right so this would be uh, the, the part of the third party software or the provisioning application then and this is the back end so it communicates via the axl uh, soap based api with the cisco unified communications manager you know and so using this uh, provisioning application so what do i mean by every time i say provisioning 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 you know so provisioning is like if you want to um add some object or add some information into the Cisco Unified Communications Manager that is being defined by this file that I talked about, you know, that is being available or the schema that is being available from CUCM. So there are the tasks that are defined that is possible that you could do uh, via the API. Only these tasks are uh, uh, possible via the Cisco Unified Communications Manager. Okay, so 
what are the tasks that are uh, possible uh, using the Cisco Unified Communications Manager AXL API interface. So basically what can be done with this AXL interface? So you could create some objects, you could read some data, you could update some informations, you could delete some data, you know. So if you want to create a phone or just want to search for a phone or if you want to update some description you know or a directory number of the phone or if you would like to delete a phone from the call manager so you don't have to go into the college call manager and then delete it um, basically you could just um, use this third-party provisioning interface and then or, or the application and then using the AXL interface you could just delete I mean perform the provisioning um, um, tasks sorry okay so uh, so what is actually an, an AXL interface to be honest it's only a provisioning interface where you could perform some tasks like MACD changes in your normal operations you know so there are several other interfaces that are being provided by CUCM as well. So let's see a list of um, you know what kind of objects can be provisioned using using Cisco Unified Communications Manager. So these are just some examples. You can do a lot more using this Excel API. So this is why CUCM provides this API interface so as to you know remove the dependency on the communications manager or and put it on the third party uh, applications uh, so that the level one guys could do a lot of tasks which which can be easier you know you can automate automate some of the things a lot of things i have seen for example uh, i have been doing uh, using third party applications a lot for example uh, there are class of users in the companies that's being defined for example they say okay this is a manager group so this manager would get a camera phone with a special international privileges and a voicemail and call forward with an international css you know and then there would be something called as the phones for the vips so the vip class you can configure in the third party application and then say okay if this is a vip class I would need a, a, a manager assistant feature on this phone and then I would need um, international CSS. I would need two telephone numbers, one the pri private phone number and the second is the public phone number on the VIP phones. And then you could create a template on this third party application directly and then using this AXL interface, the level one guys can just say, okay, I need to create a VIP phone. All right, what I need is, I, I know a template, that's a VIP template. So I will use a VIP template and just add the MAC address. I will add the location, for example. I'm just giving you an example, you know, you could do a lot of things. Uh, so I say, okay, this is my location of the VIP. And then uh, I will say this is the directory number one on line one and then this is your directory number two on line two and then only after providing this for information and of course um, the user or uh, the user id you know so they're just providing this five information in 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 a web page you know you can just say um add or click on add button and then the uh, provisioning third party application third party provisioning application would automatically uh, run a lot of api requests xml send a lot of xml requests in the back end you know to the cucm and then it's just created you know so you don't have to go to cucm and then you know create a phone and then create a directory number and a user id and then associate the phones with the users and provide the privileges to the users and a lot of clicks you know you don't have to do waste a lot of time maybe it just takes five minutes you know and then in the call manager it could be 
half an hour to provision just one VIP user. So you are saving a lot of time using this APIs, you know. So if you want to see how we could do this, uh, so I'll be showing you um, how we could do this uh, provisioning uh, using some clients, third party clients that are available. I will be showing how to create a phone, how to create a partition, how to create a CSS, you know, and how to associate the directory number with the phone. So stay tuned. So this week, uh, probably I'll be showing you how this AXL interface works in real time with your Cisco Unified Communications Manager and the third party clients. All right, so um, I think I am done. Yeah, just a last question to you guys, as this is one of the interfaces uh, that is being used, uh, provided by the CUCM. So the AXL API interface, there are other interfaces available as well from Cisco Unified Communications Manager. Do you already know about it? Maybe if not, ask me, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll share with you guys in another videos uh, about these interfaces. Um, but uh, let's see if you guys know what other interfaces are available in Cisco Unified Communications Manager and then you could use these interfaces uh, to connect with the third party uh, applications. Yeah. All right. Then uh, I would wait for your feedback on uh, these questions and maybe some more information. How was it? Was this um, video useful for you guys? If not, if yes. So I, I'll still, uh, I will uh, wait for your feedbacks and uh, hopefully until next time for the next collaboration term of the week. And stay tuned for my next CUCM device provisioning videos, maybe in one or two days. And uh, see you until next time. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.